All right, a little bit about drum traps. Now here's your drum trap. This is kind of a newer one, but the water would enter from the bottom or the side. There's a lot of enter through the side. It would exit through the top part. Well, these were famous for melting up sediment in here and clogging up. So the drum traps kind of went by the wayside on the pea trap which is a lot better. Um, you'll find these behind uh, your access doors uh, for your tub. And if you have a cloth foot tub, sometimes they'll actually be in the floor with just the lid showing. These lids are notorious for not coming off. Now this one has its original gasket on there. And the best thing I can tell you, if you wanted to unscrew this, is to use penetrating oil and soak it down and put a socket that fits this with some kind of breaker bar. That's the best shot at it. Short of that, you're going to have to chisel it off, which usually happens. So, This lid is, it's not brass, it's, uh, it's, it's metal, and so is your, your trap, it's cast iron. So, these kind of fuse together, and they are very, very difficult to get off. And a lot of times, the threads in there, they will actually rust away. So, it's very hard to, at times, put another cap on it. But we have a way to solve that which we'll, we'll do in another video. So, the best way to do is, uh, um, you're gonna have to chisel this off most of the times. Um, so, now these also show up as lead. You'll see some lead ones, which you have to be very careful with. The last thing you want to do is mess up your lead uh, drains uh, by putting some kind of socket on there and trying to turn it. Or... So you have to be very careful with the lead ones. They're very gentle. And, of course, the reason why you got to get the lid off is to snake it out. And you would snake down through here and down through the bottom. And also through the top which goes to your tongue or through the side. So that's the reason why you would get the lid off and that's why your your mouth thumb is probably running slow if you have a drum trap. So that's pretty much everything on drum traps. But keep watching uh, another video where I take this off and I'm going to show you how to put a cap on here. Um, that's pretty, pretty decent. And another thing I've done is bought another cap. If it doesn't fit, I silicone this and press this down. But I have seen where it pushed it up and opened up before. So, uh, there's one more thing I want to tell you is... Is sometimes on the older drum traps, it's hard to find a lid that fits. Um, you would think they're all standardized, but I've run a couple across a couple odd mall drum traps that have strange lids, and I'm not sure, but I have come across that. So you may not always be able to get a lid for it, but most of the time they're pretty much standard. But just me uh, um, aware that sometimes you may have trouble finding a lid, but we're going to solve that. Okay, that's all I have to say about the drum trap, and I hate to say it, but they weren't very good and they clogged up a lot, 
and they were a real asset.